Hey, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, oh my God, every day I feel like I'm getting like such intense messages. I feel like the amount of information I'm getting in is coming in so fast too. Like it feels like it's like warp speed information. It's like, okay, I just filmed a video and I had all these messages that came through. I literally just did the weekly energy. So many messages, so many messages for the week. Um, and I didn't really understand like a ton of that because it's like, uh, you know, on a week projection. But now, like after I'm done filming that, it's like I'm getting a whole other message like coming through and I'm just like, oh my God, like they're, they just keep coming. So hi, Renee, how are you? Hi, everybody and welcome. And these messages are not like small messages, you know, um, these are like big messages. This is like these are like holy crap messages you know these are these are like oh my god this is what they've been doing oh my god that's what they've been doing oh my god oh my god oh my god like that's what's coming to light right now and maybe it's that we're shining the light you know maybe that we have started to like awaken and maybe we're shining such a large light on the planet and when we are sending love to the planet maybe that's how these truths are coming up so quick right now um, but the message I just got just kind of blew my mind. Okay. So, um, so we obviously know that there is this world of technology and people that are working against the light right now, and they're actively working against the light and we have been receiving those messages. But I don't know if you guys remember, but several weeks back, I was referencing the movie, The Family Man. And I kept saying, this isn't my life. Like, this isn't my life. Like, I know that this is not my life. I know I'm supposed to be somewhere else, you know. I had, you know, joked about visiting Santa Monica and feeling like my soul was there. And I was like, not where my soul was. And there was just like some kind of a disconnect going on. And just feeling... I want to say just not where I'm supposed to be like kind of like stuck in a way my life was still moving like I would say our lives have been moving but there's just been this stuck energy right and I had so many people come through in readings and stuff's just not right like I know that shit is not right like they will come in for a reading um, and all this amazing stuff was coming in for them. And then they'll come in like about three months later and like their whole timeline has been wiped out. And we're like, what? Uh, like, I saw all this for you. Where did it go? I mean, that's what's been coming into a lot of my private readings. And I think that a lot of the people that I have been working with um, have kind of been red flag that something's just been wrong, you know, like something's been seriously wrong. Obviously, we know our sovereignty has been um, hijacked, <laughs> let's just say hijacked, free will hijacked. Um, and today, there was just something that like was leading me to just keep digging further into what that is, okay, why this feels like it's not my life right now. Why this feels like it's not our life. I had gotten messages about the timelines. That video reached a lot of people um, and it made a lot of sense that they were creating, um, let's just say these techies or these billionaires or whoever were creating this false animatrix system, almost like a video gaming system. And they somehow sped up our timelines and as a result of that, then they created new ones and they put the, those basically where the end of the earth ended, essentially. Um, but I was also getting messages that they had done the same thing to Mother Gaia's timelines and every, every timeline in every dimension. But today I was just looking at my YouTube and I was looking at my subscriber count. I was looking at my views. And I was just like, there's just something not right. And I've known this for a while. I've known this for several years that they were messing with my subscriber counts and stuff. I've had so many people come to me and, and tell me, oh, I was deleted off of your, as a subscriber, I never did that. I didn't do that. Um, and so I was like, what the heck is going on here? So I just started to like 
look into it. I started looking into, I just started staring at YouTube. I started staring at it and looking into the numbers to see psychically what I was picking up. And I just kept hearing those are not my numbers. Those are not my numbers. And so I started to send the energy back. <laughs> I don't know why, but that was my guidance. Okay. So I sent the energy back. I was like, I send this all back. I send it all back. I send it all back. <laughs> like I reject this information. I reject this outcome. That's kind of what the energy felt like, okay? So I'm like, I send this all back. I send it all back to them. I send it all back to them. I send it all back. And then I start hearing, because I'm hooked up to this crazy bot system, I heard them say, oh my God, like all the numbers are coming back. All the numbers are coming back. That's part of the V2K. And I was like, <laughs> wait, what? What the fuck are you talking about? And I heard different numbers, okay? They were saying different numbers, okay? And I kept sending it back, sending it back, sending it back. And all of a sudden, it felt like this energy broke. Very similar to when I found these false timelines. Like, it's like the energy just breaks because there's nothing supporting it. It's not, a, it's not a true timeline. It's not a true energy. It's not of the light. And when you find it, it just kind of breaks energetically. It, it almost looks like, um, I don't know how to describe the energy. It almost looks like an earthquake crumbling, okay? But it's energy that's crumbling, okay? It's like, it's like a building crumbling. So I started to see it just fall, just fall, like, completely. So then I was like, did they create a fake life for me? Like, did they create, like, a fake life, okay? Um, they created all these fake timelines, but did they create a fake life that's not my life okay and I kept seeing again the family man kept coming up and so then I was like I send back my fake life <laughs> this is the shit I do okay um I send back my fake life and then it started crumbling and I was like they created a fake life for me like this is a fake life <laughs> and then like all of like the earbuds started ringing and all of their technology started falling off of me. And it's like, like these like helmet mask kind of energies. It feels like, um, it feels like they're, they have all of these wires like hooked up to my head. Everything just started falling off. They started freaking out. Um, and like, I just saw this fake life just start just dissolving. And then I was like, I started to be guided to the next thing, which was everyone's fake life. <laughs> Cause I was like, they must've done this to everyone. Cause this doesn't feel like our life, okay? So um, especially when I found a false war, I was like, okay, this is something they programmed in their matrix system. It's a hologram. It's a holographic, you know, program of sorts. So I said, I send back all the fake lives. <laughs> Let's send it back, I send it back. And all of this energy broke. All of this energy just broke. And I couldn't believe it. And I was like, they created fake lives for us. They created like false lives for us, like false realities. I was like, how in the hell did they do this? So I just sent it all back. I sent it all back. And it reversed out. Like I'm, as I'm talking about it, I feel like the energy is just reversing out like it's a you know because we don't have to take it we don't have to own that fake reality but we have to find it we have to find it okay that's important that we find what they programmed and i always get references to microsoft i hear all the time i keep hearing microsoft's like these technologies these energies and this animation system so then i was like how did they get us into the program like i understand like, I can understand how they would create, like, a, f a new reality, I guess. I, can, I guess I can understand that. Like, okay, they want world events to happen and things like that. But how would they actually be able to program, like, individual lives in some way? You know what I mean? But there's something around human codes that keeps coming up and the docs at mar -Lago. Like, I always get something about there was, like, something with human codes and some kind of a system. Like there's something around like a McGillicuddy 
system, a Linux system that I keep seeing with codes. And then I just think of all like the data mining and like all of these companies that are super into collecting our data, right? Our information, Zuckerberg, Facebook, and like how much like information has become like such like a commodity on, on humans. And I was thinking like, perhaps they're taking all of that information and somehow coordinating it with like our human codes or our DNA, and then putting it into this animation system to somehow program it or reprogram it in some way so that it's not our actual like lives in some way. So I was getting this mention about like, I, I always get something about like them having another dimension or creating another dimension. And then it's like they project it into our reality in some way, but they have to have a way to control us to be able to do that, you know? So I was thinking today, I kept looking at YouTube. I kept looking at, I was drawn to RuTube. I went to RuTube. I really wanted to see what I was picking up on RuTube energetically, uh, which is Russia's YouTube. And again, I kept guide, being guided to be like, send it back, just send it back, like send it all back. And I'm just, like, are these a form of like a portal? You know what I mean? If, if is YouTube, you know, its own portal? I mean, essentially it is because a portal is energy, okay? It's like its own energy vortex. Where is that portal going to essentially? And is this an entrapment system? Is social media a form of an entrapment system, an energetic entrapment system that we're unaware of okay and we're thinking we're doing it for play or for gain and they're actually using this as an energy field that is working against us okay because that's kind of the messages i was kind of picking up today is that these social media platforms potentially could be used to manipulate energies in some way so like for example Hi, Lorena. Um, for example, it's like you have your own YouTube channel and you have your own videos that in a sense is your own energy field or energy system. And so if you wanted to go after somebody, you know, you could essentially go into that system and do something to that energy field. So that's kind of what I was getting today is that they've kind of created these fake lives for us through a program and it's like they're figuring out how to manipulate and create these fake lives. So I think the main message today is just to reject that information, <laughs> reject it, rejecting these fake lives, okay, that they're creating and programming for us, like rejecting that um, and not accepting it, okay? Uh, because we don't have to accept it. But the only way we know what's happening is if we f discover it, <laughs> we have to find it. You know, we have to find their false realities. We have to find their false timelines. We have to find their animation systems. And then we have to reject that information. We have to send it back. We can always reverse energy back. Um, the Chinese app Timu is probably a data collecting system. Jane, I got that exact message. I was about to order something and they started asking me for very personal demographic type information. And I said, oh no, this is like a data mining app. Yeah. And so I deleted it right away. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, what the hell? Um, it is something we have to be aware of. Like we have to be aware of what the enemy is doing so we can protect ourselves fully so that they can never do it again. Um, I reported all of this stuff to the higher light legions, to the Galactic Confederation. I reported all the fake lives that they're programming. Um, after I did that, I felt like um, my life force came back. You know, like I felt like my soul almost like came back into my body in some way. And I keep hearing something about this entrapment system. So it's like, I don't know what was in those docs if there was human codes or something like that, 
but it does feel like they did some type of life altering program to us where they put those codes into some type of a technology and animation system and projected it into almost like a false reality. And for those of us who have been in are intuitive, okay, who are are tuned into these energies more so than the average person, we have felt like everything is very far off. I thought that everybody lived life like I did, okay? I thought that everybody went through life intuitively making decisions like I did, okay? That's what I assumed. I assumed wrong. I assumed totally wrong. People do not make decisions on average based on their intuition. They make decisions based on money, monetary stability, financial stability, and material aspects. That's usually how people make decisions in this reality, in this world, okay? I never did that. I always followed my intuition. I am a Pisces. I've always been spiritual. And I'm realizing that I have ascended in earlier lifetimes. And my belief system and other people's belief systems just based on the ascension or, or their ascension, okay? So I always go through life intuitively. And when I don't feel anything energetically or intuitively coming in, I don't make decisions. Like I freeze, okay? So for someone like me, I'm picking up on that much more readily than the average person who is not making their life choices or decisions on intuition at all. So those people in this reality would be doing very well, okay? I think they would be doing... <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> because they're following essentially the false grid. They're following that false matrix, okay? They're in accordance and in alignment to that matrix. That people who are following their intuition would not be in alignment to where they're supposed to go, okay? They would not be moving into their ascension, okay? They would essentially be making lower choices and lower decisions that would be lessening or lowering them and their frequency, their energy frequencies and fields. It would not be in alignment to them. And if you are that ascended, you would get sick, you would be uncomfortable, you wouldn't be able to actually function, okay? You can't function in those decisions or choices anymore um, because you would get ill. <laughs> Okay, so just some information that I think is just really important and messages that are really important in terms of how we are being manipulated, programmed, mind controlled, whatever that is through this animation type program. It always looks to me when I tune into this animation program, I see it, it's black. Okay, um, it's very dark. It it feels almost like a coliseum energy. Like that's how it's like. That's how it's like set up. It feels like a Coliseum. And so I was thinking it was almost like they overlaid this animatrix system over a portal. You know what I mean? Like I was thinking they might have done this over a sacred portal of sorts. Um, because there is a sacred portal that looks like that in Turkey. And I was wondering if they created an animation system over a sacred portal. And that is what has disturbed the portals in some way. Um, I don't know. It could just be even like the Coliseum, like because they're showing me the glad the Gladiator movie right now with Russell Crowe. Um, like they're showing me that Coliseum. So, anyways, I don't know. It's very odd. Like when I see the animation system in my third eye, like it just it feels like. I don't know. It's it's black. I mean, that's all I can say. It's a black. It looks like a black coliseum like, <laughs> with energies and codes and and programs in it. Um, I'm hearing mind control, so it's just mind control. So this could just be a mind control system that they got access to during the Trump era. I have a um, I have Hangman Reverse on that. So it could be that they got access to the warfare of mind control. Are we like a video game to them? Yes. I think that's what it is. I think they got access to the mind control programs that we use, like the MK Ultra programs. 
and then they've weaponized it against the masses because that's the energy I'm getting and they're attacking me as I'm saying that. Hold on, let me get my beanie. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> got my lamb's beanie. <laughs> okay, so um, that's, so, cause I was like, yeah, cause I couldn't see like an animation, like program. It was like something much more high tech. Yeah, like it felt more military. So I think it might be that they got access to the mind control program. Huh. I don't know, it's very, very strange. Well, let me know if you guys get any messages on any of this and if this resonates with you in any way. Um, because again, I think we're all meant to f figure this out together. Um, Austin said he's getting a hit on this energy and the weapon right now. It's too hard to take naps and sleep. Yeah, our sovereignty has been violated. And the only way our sovereignty could be violated is if our energy frequencies have been broken into or our codes have been broken into. And I always hear something about the codes to humanity. And so the only way our codes would be broken into is if they had access to some kind of coding system. I always get something around McGillicuddy. It's like there's the Linus system, okay, Linus, L-I-N-U-X. McGillicuddy is from I Love Lucy, and I always think it's like Linus and Lucy. And I was like, did they create a Lucy version of Linus? Linus and Lucy? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Oh my God, as I'm saying that, I have the tower. Charlie Brown. Right, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Who's Charlie Brown? <laughs> Do we need to find who Charlie Brown is? <laughs> oh my God. It's like, um, so my friend Jenny, she did money quest this week for her on her elevated entrepreneur on spiritualish. And um, I feel like the money quest that I did for her was so different than everybody else's money quest. Like my money quest led me to like money portals and it led me to the codes of humanity and it led me to a fake life. You know, I feel like her money quest like led me on a completely different energy <laughs> quest. <laughs> and like here I am like sharing all of this stuff with you guys, but I'm so determined to figure this out because I know they put our energy codes into some kind of an entrapment system and it feels like they placed us into some kind of a portal. So Linus was Charlie Brown's best friend and Lucy was just a girl bullied by Charlie Brown. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know, like they're attacking me like hardcore right now, like hardcore, okay? There's like, it feels like a neurobot went right into my, the side of my brain. Okay, that's what it feels like right now. This, they do not want this out. They do not want this information out. They wanted to program us and turn us into robots, didn't you? <laughs> that ain't happening here. That ain't happening now. <laughs> um. So yeah, this group is so gnarly and so evil. There we go, devil coming through with them. Ah. Uh, um, and one of my subs today said that NASA and Russia did some kind of a joint space program. And I always hear you back in the USSR, that song back in the USSR by the Beatles. And it might be around that time period when they started this, but I was getting a lot of hits last year on the gray aliens and some type of military experiments with the grays. 
and humans sacrificing their souls to become these aliens and us not knowing it. And that was part of Area 51 and like <laughs> all of these weird experiments that were done. Um, everything is is coming to light though. I mean, everything is coming up. Like I, I just, I have the moon and it just feels like, I don't know, man, like all of this stuff is going to come to the light now. It's like, it can't hide anymore in this energy. Um, so Clive is saying they've been getting four hours of sleep a night for the last 18 months or so. Me too. If I get four hours, I'm like, ah, oh, I feel so well rested today. <laughs> or like, <laughs> five hours I'm like I'll be uh, if I actually get sleep I will be up at 6 a.m and fully refreshed <laughs> so like <laughs> that gives you guys any clue as to how little sleep I get and how the fact that I'm even functioning is like incredible after all of the attacks I am dealing with on the daily um and what I'm seeing in my third eye constantly happening um, so let's just see if there's any other information around this that we as a collective need to know. I'm hearing something about a hybrid species that is trying to gain access to us, okay, which I've gotten a lot of messages around that. I channeled Steve Jobs and got those messages two years ago on my channel. Um, so... God of Angels, any other messages around this Linus um, Lucy system that we need to know? Anything else that we would need to know? I'm hearing internal revenue services. So I also had a, a sub come through and mention there was a break-in into the system, the IRS system in 2017. And she said that the program was down for two weeks and she felt that that code that tech that system had was linked to our defense system and it was like a very outdated system and she felt like something might have gone wrong like she felt like it was like a, a sitch and she felt like that's how they were able to manipulate stuff with their taxes and things like that but I have been hearing the IRS for a long time. Like I always hear internal revenue services and I never understand the message. And then I always hear something about a DA. Like it always goes back to a DA. So it's like IRS, then I get D, DA is the next hit I always get like right after one another. So it's just like a very um, interesting thing. I'm hearing something they stole the money from the IRS. And I'm hearing something about Galactic War Heroes is something that's coming in right now. Galactic War Heroes. <sighs> I, it feels like we're uncovering more shit right now. Honestly, like it feels like more stuff's being uncovered linked to Trump's White House right now. Oh my god, it just feels like a, such a shit show. I, I can't believe like what has gone on. So, um, um, yeah, everything just feels like a little backwards. We do have justice with the emperor coming through. Um, there's just a lot of energies around this five of cups, seven of wands, like defending ourselves, protecting ourselves. Um, just a lot of stuff just feels like upside down, you know, like right now. So interesting stuff right now that is going on. I feel that as we continue to unveil this, okay, as we continue to keep shining the light on what they did, that we will be eventually pushed into a new era of sorts, a new beginning of sorts. But like I said, I think it's going to affect a lot of stuff. Like I think it's going to affect global enterprises and businesses and how we look at 
companies and organizations because these threats are not, they're coming from organizations now. They're coming from companies. Like they're coming from all over the map, these, these kinds of threats. And so it's like we either get rid of the technology, kind of like I was talking about, or we have to change how we do business like all together because the businesses that are in on this are huge. These are corporations that are in on this stuff. Um, you know, these are major CFOs, CEOs that are involved in this stuff. This isn't tiny and this isn't something that you can like clean up overnight, you know what I mean? So it's just, it feels like everything has gotten really, really messy. That's the energy of it. It feels really, really messy in terms of who's involved in this warfare right now with these technologies and things like that. I keep hearing synergy like over and over again. I keep hearing the name synergy, 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 synergy. And I know that they are, um, they were a telecommunications company that got hacked in 2000. What year was that? 21, I believe. I believe it was 2021 that they got hacked. It's screaming at me in my ear. It's like, how the fuck do you know this? <laughs> it's like my bot system. I wish I could see who I was talking to. That would be epic. I want to see them all. I want to meet them all. You, you, all of you. If you guys would do me a favor, just shine a light. Shine a light on the people who are doing this to me. Shine a light on them because I want I want us all to see their fucking faces. That's what I want. Justice coming through. I want us all to see their fucking faces. <laughs> I want to meet them. <laughs> I want to know who they are. Okay, so anyways, I'm wishing you guys the best. Send you guys so much love and blessings. Definitely let me know if this resonated with you and if you are getting any messages around this. It's very important right now. And be sure to send back any fake energies that have been trying to enter into your energy field, okay? Send them all back, okay? All right, thank you so much. Thanks, Deborah. Send you guys so much love. Oh, and tonight's my intuitive mentorship program if you guys wanna sign up for that too. Sorry, just wanted to... FYI, if you guys want to sign up for that, make sure you register for that. It's tonight at 5.30 p.m. Pacific. Okay, bye, guys.